everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. Not Operation Genesis, no, that's every day. Um, and the reason why I'm recording this right now is I have a plan. Even if we don't win the Titanoboa, we're going to be getting something else just as cool. Uh, so let's, I, I kind of wanted to record this as well because in the last episode I showed that we were going to get, hopefully, if we, we put in 20 tickets, if we get... 20 of the 1%, 5,500, we can get over 100,000 DNA, almost pushing us back to three, sorry, 400, over, almost five, almost half a million. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll do that. I, I really doubt it. We're probably going to get a lot of DNA. The minimum we can get is 400. We'll probably get like one, 3,000 DNA. Uh, I wish you could just clump them all together and then get them all at once because I'd love to see that number go up. So this was food, I think, and it was all for coin. It was like the watch the adverts. Um, and you know what? Trading that for coin? Completely happy with that. Before we do anything, I'm going to collect even more DNA for that. Collect even more food for that. Uh, check the harbor just in case there's anything that's good. Eh, may as well do that. Um... Not really going to trade books for that. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, look, free speed ups as well. And we should get some, yeah, 320 DNA from that. And of course, uh, can't forget. Oh, oh hello. We were sitting there. I thought there was somebody knocking at the door. Turns out it's my dog just scratching downstairs, like being a thumper, like bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so, um, I'm, ooh, what, should I put in something? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? We'll put in the junk source because we can easily speed it up and then we'll put in something else. So if anything comes up, we can just get that out of there and put um, the thing that we've just got, hopefully, maybe a Titanoboa in there. So I'm going to chuck in a crud ton of legendaries that take forever. Look at all the Ichthyostegas we've got. Oh, that's awesome. We've got so many of those. Right, okay. Now, let's see just how much DNA we're going to get. Right, let's claim. Well, oh, there was only three. Ah, so I don't think we won 3,000 DNA or the um, 5,000 DNA. We could have, uh, but I'm guessing the 12 is the lowest, which is 400. So that's four. That's 4,800. Should be 4,800. So that's not bad. And this one, yes, so that's about 4,000 as well. So we got 8,800. So I traded in... What, uh, 1,600 VIP points for 8,000, uh, Woodger McCallsums. Woodger McCallsums. Now this, I wouldn't mind having the Dean Ethereum, to be honest. But for 100, that's the first time I've seen 100 VIP points. So it's not 80, it's not 160 or 130, sorry. It's 100. And it would be, oh, I mean, the chances of getting the Dean Ethereum are really low. I don't think I'm going to do that. It's kind of... Kind of a ripoff for me, not gonna lie. Now, the reason I deliberately put in uh, my Jungasaurus first, not only can we put in, you know, speed it up instantly, but it means that I can quickly have that slot free and then put in, like, the Ichthyostegas. That's the reason why I did that. Also, claim the 40 VIP points to get that back. Um, now, now this is the interesting bit. Before, oh, you see, I've got that to get. But, but, I, it would, I would have to use these creatures and I kind of don't want to do that. Oh my god, that, my dog is really distracting. I'm just hearing like a... Like downstairs. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. <laughs> oh, he's itchy. It's that time of year. Go on then. Okay, the other creature I'm thinking of getting is not... I mean, we could very, very easily get the Acrocanthosaurus. However, we I mean, we already know what it's like at level 40. And it's not too great. It's okay. as For a VIP, I mean... Uh, you know, this is the thing, right? When I say it's okay, I mean it's okay for what it is. If, like, a VIP. I'm not comparing it to T-Rex, because then it's amazing. I was comparing it for where it lines up with the other VIPs. Uh, so we're gonna go and get some solid gold packs to try and get Hyenodon! Now, the chances of getting it are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, one out of 10 chance. Now, even if we get other creatures, we can sell them for 5,000 DNA. So... Let's go ahead. How you done, please? First time. Odomorphodon. Already got that maxed. So that's kind of... Again, like I said, we can always speed those up. Uh, we'll try again. So it should take us 10. 10 packs. So let's see. So second pack, a Padasaurus. Uh, already got that, but we got 1,000 DNA, some books, a lot of VIP points, and 5,000 DNA for the Apatosaurus. Uh... 
Let's keep on going. Oh my god, my <laughs> dog's going nuts downstairs. I can hear him rubbing his mouth and going, <laughs> So 300 VIP points. Sorry, uh, DNA. No, god, fucks. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty good. VIP points slowly, slowly getting us back. So that this is pack four. Um, a Presta Sutures, which is something we don't have maxed out. Now that was good. I don't mind getting that at all. Uh, so, so far, no doubles. We're getting there. Uh, pack number five is another author canvas. <laughs> I get way too many of those. Way too many. Come on, I just want one. I want one hyena don, and I want to see it stats. So, this is pack six. And another press of sutures. I think that's enough to max it up, I think. Because we got level 30, and I think a level 20. So, that means we can get a level 40 press of sutures. And that thing's going to be really good. So, pack number seven is a tiny cola, so we've only had Orthocanthus twice. Um, we're getting close. Hyedon seems to be a little bit rare in comparison to the rest. Uh, so pack number eight is a... Oh, no, 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 freaking Edomorphodon. <laughs> Two more packs, and then we've went over the amount it should be necessary to get it. And we are going down pretty quick. Uh, so pack number nine is a Hyenosaur. We've had everything but a Yenodon. I was hoping it would be before this. And come on, pack number 10. Please, come on, pack number 10. What's it going to be? Pack number 10. I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I do not recognize that tail. And it is a Yenodon. It did exactly take 10 packs. <laughs> one out of 10 chance. And we finally got it. So that means that it probably is one in 10 chance to get it, I would say. I mean, it could have. we could have opened 100 packs and not got it. But we got lucky there, just the right amount as well. So let's put in a hyena don because it's a VIP. So we got two more press of sutures. Before we do anything, I just want to check to see if that's enough to max it out. Um, we need another four, I think. Yeah, we definitely. Yeah, unless I've got more to hatch, no two. So I, yeah, I need. Sorry, I need another two press of sutures to get that up to a level 40. However, we do have another level 20 then. So we'll go into the Glacier, Hyenodon, hatch it for 100. Now I'm expecting this thing to be really good because VIP creatures are better than tournament. Level one, 760 health. Ooh. Oh, and it pads like a doggy. So this thing, ooh. Now if you didn't know, Hyenodon was an apex predator. I'm pretty sure. I don't know my um, Cenozoic creatures as well as I do my Mesozoic. Um, but Hyenodon, I, I feel like it was a really good carnivore, or at least one of the top of its time. So from 760 health, 238 attack, feeling it up to level 10, 1140 health, and 300, and it kills it, I don't know, 356. Didn't even see it coming. Ah, oh, beautiful. So, that puts it probably my second best creature. If not, it's top five for sure. And that's only at level 10. I can't wait to get this thing level 20. So, let's see what the fact is. 7,900 um, food. So, we'll claim that. If if it'll let me. Can I claim? Please. Thank you. Hyenodon means hyena tooth. But the two species aren't related. While hyenas are related to cats... Hyenodon is a Creedont. What the hell's a Creedont? I need to look that up. It means it's got fleas. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't even know hyena hyenas were closely related to cats. I thought they would have been like dogs or wolves. Cats, that's interesting. Well, if we go in here. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, no, it's definitely not. If we go into. Oh, we can't just have our glacier lineup. Interesting. Because I would have liked to have just seen where it stacks up. But if I click any of these, it's going to take them all. Um, and that is Tyrannodon. Uh, is it? Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this one. Um, because we could... I mean, it's at least one underdog pack, I think. Um, now I just realized I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> Please attack for two. Uh, okay. Uh, block for two. If he doesn't... Oh, we're dead. He can kill us in two. Well, can I just, can I just exit? No, I'm not seeing you kill me thing. Nope, that was a bad, very bad thing to do. <laughs> um, 300, 500, you know what? Maybe it wasn't. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to have Skeletor in because Skeletor can take two hits. It's about the same attack, but it can take two hits. And also we're going to carry on with the Titanobo. Maybe, just maybe, we'll, um, we'll see Hyenodon and Titanoboa. 
So I'm guessing that Titanoboa isn't going to have as good stats as um, Hyenodon. We'll see. So we got four. Let's see if he blocks for anything. Oh, he didn't block for any. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now it's going to get tougher. It's going to be two Pterosaurs now. And trying to beat maybe two herbivores? Oh my god, my dog is still scratching. Jeez! That's all man! What are you doing? Well, there you go. That's him sorted out. <laughs> Put him in the jokey. <laughs> I didn't. I'm a oh my god, Basil. Now you're scratching in the hallway. Ah! What a little nightmare. It's just like if you're having a conversation with someone and then you hear your phone buzzing. It's like you can't concentrate. And it's a bit like that. So anyway, we're back. And I'm going to put in zings. Actually, should I do that? Because the last one we need three flyers. So how about we put... No. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think that'll do. Yeah, we can't die in two hits. Okay, let's do this. Go for the reserve right away. Whew. Going up and down stairs. Oh, it's tired me out. <laughs> so we'll go for three and kill it here. Um, and then the next one, we probably die in one hit. And that'll mean you'll have a possibility of one block. But... Depending on how much attack we've got, we may be able to kill it in two hits. And I think we know we'll have 250 attack, won't we? I think. Oh no! Hold on! I think we could do it. I think because we've got one block, we've got three. We... Yeah, that's it. We've won. Nice. That was lucky. I didn't even think that through. You see, if you're clever, you could just calculate that and be like, Yeah, we've definitely won that, no matter what. It just depends what they do. And there's 50 DNA. And on to the last one. How many packs is it? It's just one pack. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, it, it is three herbivores. Three pterosaurs. Okay. Um, so we'll put you in. We'll put you in. And we will actually... I'm going to put those two in. Because I, th I think we've done this. I'm going to reserve. They're about... You know, it's not... Pel Pelicomimus... That's actually pretty good. But it is level 144. <laughs> so, actually, is it? I mean, it's a common hybrid. Oh, no, it's not a hybrid. Of course. I was like, is that a hybrid? No, it doesn't have the purple stars. I'm an idiot. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Bowser's friggin' distracted me. Completely throw me off. Um, so, yeah, we'll do this. And then we'll crack on with the tournament. Because, I, I mean, last time I checked, I was second. Because, um, I mean, I was like, okay... As soon as my dinosaurs are refreshed, then I'll jump back in and continue to do it. And I, wow, he's actually zing zing bajing's done a lot of damage there. It's gonna go for five. Yeah, I thought so. Two kills me. Um, I was hoping that three would, but yeah, I was still pretty close. It was about 700 and then factor in the extra bonus. So yeah. So he's got two block. We kill him in one. So we can go for three and then four reserve. Did he block? He didn't. That's a bit of a shame because that means he's gonna have six. A Shinosaur may not kill me though. Ah, it's about... He sh Shinosaur shouldn't kill me. It shouldn't go for it, because it's not an instant kill. But it might do it anyway. And it does it anyway. But that's alright. Ah, it's just... <laughs> but we do a scab boobly boobly bab. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, if you were to tell me I'd be making these noises for a living, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you, I'd call you insane. Right. So, uh, yeah, banana fingers, isn't it? I mean, it's got more attack. Sorry, health, but not attack. They'd have to go for two, four, six, eight, maybe even five to kill me. But I have six, and I'm going to go for it because... Um, three kills him. As long as he doesn't go for three block, he goes for two. Yeah, there you go, and that is an underdog pack. So we've done Hyena Don. We've, sorry, dude. We've uh, got Hyena Don, um, and we've done the pack. And now we'll crack on with the tournament and just see if we can manage to- Ooh, Stegosaur, not bad prize. I mean, you know, you could have got a Triceratops. We did pretty good there. 260 VIP points and- Oh, where am I? I am eighth. So the- Oh my god, 4,500? And you know what it is? I've been doing this quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. And also, if you put in these creatures and you're against something that you know you're going to lose against, you can exit out. Like, we'll see. So, yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. Utah Raptor, Caritasaurus, it's just a Stegoceratops. It's going to give me a little bit of bother. Uh, otherwise, because 
If you see your opponent's team and go, oh, I can't take that on, exit out. And then come back in. And your creatures won't be used. So if anybody's thinking about, like, tactics, because I've had some people message me, like, I'm on, I'm at this point, is there any, uh, like, hints you can give me? That's definitely one of them. If you're gonna lose, just exit. I mean, if I was to exit now, I, I would have lost. Um, but the thing is, if you do that, make sure you close the game, like, actually close the app afterwards. Because I've had it a few times where I've entered it again, uh, come up against an opponent I know I can win, and then all of a sudden, um, they won't go, and the counter will just count down to zero, and when it hits zero, it'll say disconnected from server. And I think that might be Ludia's way of catching uh, people out who have done that. So, tip one! Um, one of two. Um, if you think you're going to lose against that team, exit out quickly. And also close the game as well, just to make sure that um, you don't enter and then you'll just end up losing your creatures anyway. Uh, I'm going to go for that, I think. Yeah, I, that was lucky, actually. I thought maybe two would need to kill him, but uh, Intominus at level 10 is pretty badass, especially with the 50% bonus. Right. Hmm. So, I mean, I could go for five here. I might as well, even if he blocked for four. And he only blocked for one, bless it. Poor Carithosaurus. And comes in Utah Raptor, who is sporting in his pictures still the American flag under his neck. They, they've changed it on his actual picture. Like, sorry, in the model. You can see in the model, like, the stripes and then you've got the stars. But if you look under his neck, it's still the way his model was originally. But they did change it because they were like, oh, yep. I mean, it's, it's Utah Raptor. So it was found in Utah, which is America. Hence the reason why it's got the stars and stripes. But I know. <laughs> I think they went, Ugh, it's, a bit, it's a bit on the nose, isn't it, that one? So we don't move, but that's okay. Because we're in Dominator League, which means we have the highest chance of winning Titanoboa. And that's all we care about, folks. As long as we're up here... And we're doing battles all the time. We can do it. And depending on... Ooh, you know what? Yeah, that'll do. Depending on how high we get, I might be able to do the VIP uh, battle event and get a legendary pack. Because you do... I mean, we've taken a big hit with our VIP points. And I mean a big hit. And you can see it yourself. We lost 100,000 there. We did gain about 16,000 from the uh, packs that we opened. But 100,000 is still a lot. So it's going to take me a while to get that back. But we do have Hyena Don now. So, actually, why did I do that? One killed him. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> but then again, Shinosaurus has pretty much made mincemeat out of the other two creatures. Even though they're all carnivores. Look at that. Carnotaurus doesn't have more attack than a Shinosaurus. What world do we live in? Um, I'm going to go for two reserve. Because even if he blocks one, which he did, if I had attacked, he would have survived. I might have died, actually. Two, four, six. He would have done a lot of damage. He wouldn't have killed me. Now he's got two block. A possibility. We need to go for four. We've got five, so we can go for one reserve and five attack. Four attack, sorry. And there you go! Carnotaurus down and Majungasaurus with its attack is 129. So yeah, we definitely haven't uh, lost Shinosaurus. But again, I really... It would be nice if Ludia gave you your creatures back if they weren't used at all. Like, my, my Blumen, Sukumimus, and Metapasaurus haven't been used, yet it'll be as if they're used. So, it would, I don't know, it would be nice if they did give it back. I mean, maybe we'll see it in the future. It's been two years now, and they still haven't done that. So, <laughs> so, oh god. And again, like, I was looking back at some old footage of, um, because I love doing it. I'm, I'm a nostalgic kind of guy, so anything that's like my childhood, or like, from a good time in the past... I love, like, sort of revisiting. So I was looking back at when Jurassic World, the game, first came out. And I saw people who opened up a legendary pack. And I've already talked about it before. Some guys will know. But the prizes were abysmal. Like, have a guess. I mean, you're a low level. So I don't know if this has been fixed or whatever. If you opened a legendary pack. Like, if I was to open a legendary pack now, I would win, like, is it 500 bucks? It might be 250 bucks. 2,500 DNA, a legendary creature, and, um, I mean, some other resources. I saw somebody who opened up a pack, or I saw a pack that was opening, and 
you know what prizes were in that pack? Ten bucks. That's right, ten bucks. Sixteen thousand gold. A an event card, which don't exist anymore. Because back in the day, if you opened a pack, you might get an event. And it was up for a limited time. And you would use, like... The events were, like, so weird back then. So it was like, if... Oh, we killed awesome. It would be only up for a limited time, instantly used, and you'd have to use only commons or only rares. And in some cases, it was like only legendaries. And if you just started... Oh my god. Ah, that, that, that was really loud. Jesus. <laughs> it's because they were in sync. And if in some cases, depending on what level you were, you didn't have any legendaries. So it was just completely wasted. And it was just the worst prizes. I was like, oh my god. I can't, like, looking back... If I was, if I knew what I know now, back and then, I would just be like, give me my money back. Are you freaking serious? Give me my money. <laughs> oh, okay. But we didn't know any better. We, I mean, when this game came out, it was like, everyone who covered it, it was a race to who could open the legendary pack first to see what's inside. Who could get a T-Rex first? Who could get an Indominus Rex first and see, see, um what that was like and don't don't get me wrong if there was a, when Jurassic World Evolution comes out there's going to be so many people who are going to be uh, like live streaming on YouTube just so like and I don't know what to do I kind of feel like I want to do both I want to make a video like episode one and then live stream the rest because um, I, I kind of want to play it on PC but at the same time I hold a lot I mean I'm a console gamer at heart because the way I record, like, PC games is kind of a little bit uncomfortable with, sort of, with console games. I sit on a sofa and I'm a more relaxed, but you know what? I think the longer I've done this and the longer I've done computer games, um, record them on my computer, the more I've gotten used to sort of doing that, so... I don't know. We'll see. I, I do want to do it on PC just because there will be mods. I know for sure people will mod that game. I mean, at least they'll try. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, not going to turn my nose up at that. 50, uh, 50 bucks, so we're reimbursed for 10 entries, which is already all the ones we've done so far. We get, Like, I love doing the tournament, because it's just like, if you have the creatures, and you have the time, just grind it. Just sit there and grind it. Just go crazy, because you'll get so many resources. Like, before this tournament started, I wonder what DNA we were on. I mean, yeah, we've opened up a lot of packs, but still. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like that Era Titan. And I do not like that Spineraptor. Oh, that... Oh, that's... That's that's scary. That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to go for two reserves here. Oh, good, he wasted it. Okay. As long as I can kill this Aero Titan. In fact, what I might do here is switch in something that can kill it, like Stegoceratops. You know what? I'm going to switch in... Um, Therizinosaurus, because they're going to switch in Spinoraptor to take out Therizinosaurus. Um, banana fingers. And in doing so, they'll waste a go switching it in. And if they do kill him, then Metaposaurus is out next. Or, I could go for that and kill it anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. Maybe Stegoceratops could No, Stegoceratops couldn't have killed it. I need to get the thing level 40. I know I keep on saying it, but I just forget. Oh, okay. Didn't expect that. I just, oh, I just had an urge to watch Blue Planet. Oh, my God. Oh, I love Blue Planet. I love documentaries. I've always been that way inclined. I mean, who can't? Who can't like Blue Planet? It's, or like any sort of nature documentary. It's the world we live in. Or at least the world that exists. It's not really the world we live in. We, li we live in a world with cars and, um, I don't know, material things and houses and mortgages. We live in our own human world. Um, and... Like, I've, I feel like I've had opportunities in the past um, where people have said, oh, like, even, even just going forward, I think, uh, you know, as far as it goes, you get one life, and uh, as far as anybody knows, you get one life. What do you want to do with it? Um, for those people who are quite young, you, you don't have to answer that question. <laughs> but I think it comes a point, it's like, what do I want? What do I want in my life? What am I happy with? And, I mean, that that is life in general. What is the, eter the eternal struggle to be happy? And trust me, it does not come from material things. It comes from surrounding you yourself with people who uh, make you happy and um, just living a peaceful life. 
sort of. I know it's because a lot of the time people think, oh, having that thing will make me happy. I'll be happy then. You won't be. They'll, you'll go on to the next thing and it'll be something else. <laughs> and even then, the thing that you think can make you happy oftentimes doesn't. If it's like a, if it's even just like some clothing, how can a piece of plastic, you know, make you happy? How could a, how could a, like a phone, how could that make you happy? I mean, I don't know, it's really what you'll find as you go through life, and I'm not trying to like lecture anybody, I'm just saying like my sort of thoughts and experience is that it's not, like it's not the, what you think might make you happy, it won't, trust me. <laughs> oh, you never know, it might, like I've said in the past, some people are that way, some people, uh, material things will make them happy, and I don't have anything wrong with that, I'm not trying to bash people who that is their goal. That's completely fine. Um, I, I, but I, I don't like when people sort of, I know, because there's a lot of pressure in this day and age. There's a lot of pressure to live up to a certain standard and to present yourself a certain way. Anybody in school will know that there is so much pressure to fit in, to conform, to be cool, um, and you know, you have all that bullying and stuff and. Oh, that's, that's a whole other topic for another time. I don't even know where I'm going uh, with this, but it's, it's just thoughts that come to my head, and I'm, I'm just like... I, what is it? I think it's, it's something that Jim Carrey said. He said that um, he wishes that everybody had the opportunity... And I'm so glad I've killed that bloody early ops! Jesus! Um, if everybody had... He wishes that everybody had the opportunity to see what it was like to be famous, so that everyone can realize that it's not... It, it's not what makes you happy, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. I wouldn't consider myself famous, in quotations, and, uh, well, be, well, for a start, I think if you're famous, you're getting stopped on the streets. You can't go shopping, and if you think about it, that's just a pain in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you, you, sometimes you don't want that. You just want to go out and do your own thing. Um, I'm just realizing I may- oh no, it's a- it's a rare. Okay, I thought that was a legendary. And I was like, oh, Tabuchara's has killed us in two hits, but no, he might not have. No, he hasn't. Okay. We can definitely kill him in two hits, so no matter what he does, uh, even if we've blocked for four, we've got to attack him. We've killed him. Um, also, I, I kind of like the way that these episodes are going. Uh, I know that, uh, like, we're running Jurassic Park Operation Genesis at the same time, and this, but I feel like what I like about doing YouTube and, uh, well, that whole realm in general is just the feedback, feed, feedback, the feedback I get from you guys and the connection that you have with your audience. That's something I never expected when I started YouTube and it's one of the reasons why I keep on doing it. Oh, don't taunt me. I know it's a hundred bucks. Go away, man, you big snake. <laughs> oh, look, you almost had me. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but yeah, like, I quite... I like these chats, even though, in theory, I am talking to nobody, because there's nobody around me. But you guys will watch it, and that's, that's, I mean, that's awesome. I love that. I love the, I love the whole, I love what YouTube allows to happen, uh, because it's something that television, or other forms of media, which I guess is just television, really, that I'm thinking about, that this could really ever happen, um, doesn't allow you to do. Um, and that is get to know somebody on a personal level or um, even like have content like this because you know the big fat cats in their corporate towers and their decision making probably wouldn't like green light something like this what some guy just playing games and commentating over the top of it get out that won't make money <laughs> and uh, they probably would be right maybe it wouldn't make money on TV um, but like, that's why I like YouTube, and I like the opportunity that uh, has sort of been presented to me, because I never expected this to ever be a thing. Um, and I'm sure in an alternative universe, maybe I would have stopped. Maybe I would have went to a different profession. Maybe I would have continued animating. Um, but yeah, it's like, I think about what I want to do. What do I want to do if any... Like, because the thing is, I'm quite a non... I don't know how to say it. It's like... I like to stay in my comfort zone. So if there's an opportunity to do something different, or that's a bit, you know, scary, I'll probably say no to it. But I know in the long run that I should say yes to it. Because I've never regretted, or at least 
not that I can think of. There probably is things, but not that I, I anything I've said yes to, I've never really regretted. And you don't. It's the things that you don't do in life that you will be like, ah, I wish I'd done that, damn it. And uh, even talking to one of my friends, uh, he was saying that, he was looking back saying about YouTube, he wish he just stuck and did more videos. Um, and and he's, he's, he's sort of doing that now and he's finding it better from what, whatever perspective. And I'm saying, well, if you, you know, if you didn't take the time out and try something else, then you'd probably think, oh, I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd tried something else. So, you, in, in a way, not that it applies to every circumstance, but you probably should try. And if you if you do get an opportunity, take it. As the uh, phrase is, grab the bull by the horns and not anything else because the bull won't be very happy. <laughs> yeah, at least that bit's my, my uh, sort of version of it. <laughs> Uh, ooh, this is interesting. This team is mostly health tanks. Uh, what else can be a health tank? Uh, I'm looking at... Yeah, go on then. Yeah, there we go. Do I... I don't have uranium. I don't have uranium. <laughs> Level 40. I probably should get that. And, ooh, that's interesting. I'd probably switch straight into Spinoraptor, I would imagine. Putting my attack down to 222. But we can definitely take two hits and survive. Because I'm pretty sure Carnaraptor has like 1,200 attack. When it's... Oh, okay. 1,500. Probably kill me in two hits. Um, but I'm going to save that. Because Ceratosaurus can easily take out uh, the Labyrinth just or whatever it's called. So it's not a problem. That, that amphibian, even though it's like, oh, wait, they have an amphibian. It's pretty crap because it's a cult. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, that was a burp. <laughs> Oh, uh, you see, I do control myself. That's a funny thing. I'm, I mean, I've only, I mean, some of you guys probably do watch Rick and Morty, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's a great show. The only problem is the sort of connotations that come with it. I don't like the whole, whoa, you know, it's all these memes, and, um, I don't know, it, it feels like it's such a cult phenomenon that, it, like, even, oh god, what am I done? I sh he's gone for three, hasn't he? Oh, no, he went for four. That's great. I don't know why he did that. That's fantastic. We can kill him in two. Um, but it's like a lot of people now will burp while talking because of Rick and Morty. <laughs> and I used to burp anyway uh, while recording. But now I'm like, oh, do people think I'm doing that? No. <laughs> and I think I've watched a couple of episodes. And before I knew, before the whole cult thing happened where it was like, Hey, Morty, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Morty is a Morty. Morty, we gotta go down. <laughs> Before that whole, like, craziness happened. Um, not trying, I'm trying to be hipster or anything. I'm just saying. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of do want to watch it the same way. I don't want to watch it because... Just the, the fan base alone has sort of made me go, Yeah, <laughs> I don't really want to. Can he kill Ceratosaurus? Survey says no. He didn't even give it a shot. And we can kill him. Actually, if he goes for four block, he will survive. Oh, he does! What a clever little lizard. Or amphibian, sorry. In the title, James. God. Can he kill me? I don't think he can. So I'm just going to go for it. So I find it kind of cathartic. Sort of just doing the tournament. Because a lot of the time, I'll face up against opponents that I don't have. I can just switch my brain off and just like go for it. Is he just going to keep on blocking? Okay, good. <laughs> Poor kid. Well, at least he's got a blue chair there. And he's got a blue stripe in his jumper. See, matching. I bet the parents are very happy with that photo. Look at that kid. He's so fashionable. <laughs> uh, ooh, wow, we've got a way to go. 500 extra points to get to number one. I mean, we do have a lot of creatures. Oh, Titanoboa. Why must you mock me so? Just show a please. I mean, a common pack. It's great. Another 100 bucks and DNA and a common. But I just, I just need it. Oh. I mean, have we done a, um, what do you call it? A mission. Oh, we have. There you go. Another 40 VIP points and more DNA. Uh, use three different classes of aquatic creatures in a fight two times. Use three different classes of Cenozoic. Now, these are the new missions and I don't really like them. Because I quite like events where I can just go about my daily business and I'll just complete them. Whereas I feel like a lot of it is completed, like, I have to go out my way and, and you know, do that. And I guess yeah, you can do that, but last time I checked the prizes on the um, daily bonus weren't very good. Like, the um, the pack. Oh, that's interesting! Zal Moxie is the one to be uh, 
wary of here. Because it's got, it'll have like 600 attack nerfed. And I do have Ostrophicosaurus, and I do have T-Rex. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I don't mind Pachyrhinosaurus being killed. However, um, it has about the same attack as Ostrophicosaurus. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Ooh, yeah, there one more hit would to die, but that's good. He's got nothing. And we can go for three. Ah, we have to go for four. That's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, hopefully, Ceratosaurus can kill us in two hits if he's got four. He can kill us in one, so maybe he'll go for three. Does he have three? Good. Okay, please kill me. Please kill me. Come on. And then Ostrophicosaurus can take out Ceratosaurus. Yes. Okay, that's good. Then Zalmoxes, because it is a glass cannon, should be easy to kill. Yep. Yep. Ostrophicosaurus. He's excited. It might have had maybe just a little bit more attack. So one, two, three, four. Kills it. And then two reserve. And that's it done. Match set. But that, that was, that was, that was interesting. Because they were stronger than me. I think their team was a lot better. Max Zalmoxes, Mac Enosaur, Mac, Mac Enosaur, and Mac Karatakorus. <laughs> oh, he goes for four. Wow. Sh shuts uh, Ostafricosaurus up. Oh my God. We're in 40 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I mean, do you guys prefer longer episodes? It's always interesting. And, and tell you what I've been loving doing, actually, is reading through the comments. Um, I can't think of any now, but, like, I had a nightmare last night, and I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I was I was like, okay, there's nothing, there's nothing going to kill me, but I need to calm down, so let's read some comments. <laughs> and um, so you guys, see, you gave back to me. Stop me from being a scaredy pants. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, another coming pack. Awesome. A balloon ride. Um, and I, it was just, it was lovely. You know, um, like, I don't know. A lot of YouTubers say, oh, don't go through the comments or don't, don't shift through the top three or else you'll be like, you know, you probably want to kill yourself. <laughs> but I got to admit, I, I mean, I don't know. I think you guys are pretty awesome. Like the comments I was reading, there wasn't really any bad ones. Um, not that really there would be. I mean, you're on episode 321, right? <laughs> if you're a hater, you've, you've got some staying power. I'll, I'll give you that. You really do. So I'm kind of tempted to go for two attacks there, but I'm not going to. I've got two amphibians. They're all carnivores. And we're pretty much won no matter what here. I'll take my time. T-Rex does go for two hits. Means he's got nothing, but that's it. That's game over. Sarkasukas, the prehistoric crocodile. It kills you in three. Although saying that, if he had one block, I would have been a bit annoyed. <laughs> but my brain worked this time, so we did know us. Come on. Majungasaurus, oh my god, look at that 43 attack. Oh, oh he goes for one. Oh, we've, we've, we've died. <laughs> uh, which means he's got two blocks, so I go for three. He's definitely dead. He didn't go for two blocks, but he went for one. And now Monolophosaurus doesn't have much attack, but it does have a lot of health. Monolophosaurus is a good dinosaur, especially if you're kind of lower level and you've managed to get one. Because it, it's kind of on par with a super rare in a lot of uh, cases. But it does cost a lot of DNA. And it doesn't have a hybrid, I don't think. So maybe it's not. No, surely it does. Monolophosaurus? Erlophosaurus Ur is the Lophosaurus and... No. Erlophosaurus. What is it? Oh, it's Erlichosaurus. That's right. No, it's not Monolophosaurus. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how did Dilophosaurus and Monolophosaurus make a legendary? Uh, two, yeah, 250, I'll take that. That's fine. Gimme. Give Gimme give the DNA. <laughs> Look, we've got so many dinosaurs. Like, just one good one. And then, actually, we are getting to... Ah! That's the first time I've accidentally spent bucks. Go on then, fine. We could feed the, the Indominus Rexes. However, I do want to sell them. And if I feed them, then it's kind of wasted. Oh! Ooh. Mm, now, will he switch in his Darwin Opterus? Let's see. Let's see. Because if he switches in now, that'll be really good. Please. Yes, we killed it. <laughs> I don't understand that. Why, though? Why do that? Uh, you know what? I'm happy with it. Whatever. Whoa-bam. Koala Poopa Labyrinthosaurus. Mm, what are you going to do, son? You gonna hit me? I'm gonna hit me. He, oh, he does. Wow, okay. I didn't really expect you to do that. 
Fair dues. Well, guess who's dead? That's right, you, Chuck. Bam. And brings in... Uh, you, Persephilus. Are you going to go for three attack? Please do. Just make it easy on me. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for three anyway. Ah, oh, damn it. Is he on three again? No, he's on four. Oh, that's of course, because he went first. He just wasted his first go, so I was a bit like, did he attack? Oh, come on. Get it over with. Jesus. You've lost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my dog's whacking. Oh, I think he's killed me. Oh, no. I talked to Capelta. Well, at least I get to use this thing. I did spend bucks on it, so I might as well do something. Yeah, I can hear my dog banging downstairs again. He's really itchy. Hmm. He does like to suffer. For He's like allergic to grass, though. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I do have hay fever myself. But it's just like, you're a dog and you're allergic to grass. Oh, God. You know, it's just a case of him just trying to be as much of a pain in the ass as physically possible. I think he chose to be allergic to grass. And he hates me. <laughs> He's a greedy dog. Who knows when he's being bad and will still do things because he'll, st he'll still be naughty, even though he knows he's being naughty. He's a caricature, honestly. Like, if any sort of animator or any design, whatever, who's creatively inclined, any person like that, if they're needing somebody for inspiration, just have him for a week. Jesus. He's so expressionate and he's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> you just look at him and go... No, oh, who's a little devil? Yes, you are. Right. Come on. This is an easy team. This game's over as soon as it started, my friend. Go on, switch. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go for two attack then. Oh, he didn't even block. Maybe he's being clever. Ooh. But even if he does manage to kill my Megalosaurus, he's, uh, he's not gonna do very well here. Three attack. Only does over maybe 1,200 damage. Well... Hopefully he doesn't block for any. Oh, he blocked for two. Should have went for some reserve there. Should have. He was going to do a lot of damage if he hits for four. Oh, he goes for three. Okay. 1,300. So he's got one block. So I have to go for three. That's okay. Now it's up to uh, Enosaurus. Who's going to have 222? Yeah, 222. I thought so. So even if it goes for four, I don't think he's going to get... He could be close. Has he killed me? Oh, he just did, damn it. <laughs> oh, ooh. Well, I'm going to go for four reserve. I, even if I went for four attack, I don't think it would have killed him. So I might as well go for four reserves. Oh, he attacked. He's killed him as well. Oh, okay. The, the, uh, the, t the tables have turned. But Diplotator. Look at that. Level 30, Diplotator has more attack. It does not have more health, though. But in this case, attack's better. I should get that level 40. I should just, like, spend loads of DNA on just maxing up loads of my hybrids that have been neglected. Because I bet I would use them. Evil Flaffy. So evil looking. Milky. That's a nice name. What's your name? Milky. I'm the Milky Bar Kid. <laughs> oh, that is a name. It depends if where we grew up if they did have that advert. I don't know if... Well... Did it exist in America? I feel like it would have. Milky Bar. Milky Bar. Any, if, you, if any of you Americans out there, which I know, actually a lot of you guys are American. Like, I think 50%, over 50% of my audience are American. Which is crazy. That's so cool, though. Do you like me because I'm English? <laughs> nah, you're just the only dinosaur tuber out there. <laughs> which I know is not true, I'm just saying. That's the, like, like, that's the only excuse you'd be watching us. Right. Uh, pretty much won this. Easy. I mean, we've got Tropicanathus, which is not going to give us any problems. And Gallimimus, which is also not going to give us any problems. I probably didn't even need to use Carnoraptor. And again, like, that could have been another battle. That could have been another 33 cups-ish. That I could have saved. But we'll go for... We'll go for... Did he have one block? I don't think he did. But yeah, I might as well just play it safe. Bam! Get out of town! Sit your butt down! And when comes the Gallimimimus... The Gallimimimus. Gallimimus. Oh, okay. Uh, please don't go for any more than one. Oh, perfect! So that 227 attack gets turned into 57? Oh, 81. I was quite off. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit a hell on the nose. 
The Tuki Toucan can. I tell you what he can't do is kill me. Oh, he's got it. He's oh wait, hold on. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nah, there was there was not a hope in hell. And that's it. Well, at least he tried. Give him credit. But then again, if they're supposed to be real people, why would you put that in with a super mind? It, I mean, it, it, we we hit the nail on the head. It's obvious that they're supposed to be rounded up. It's just because it's a tournament, they can't be. Because you can't go higher than level 40. <laughs> that dog is still going. Oh my god. Jesus. I just, every now and again, just like a bum, 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 bum. I could just hear it. I'm going to have to put, <laughs> just throw some ice cubes on the poor bugger. So, Acrocalosaurus should be enough to take everything on by itself. Now, if it's really something tough, I will exit out here. Let's see. Just because I want to I wanna show you how it works. Uh, ooh. Eee, ah, ooh. Yeah, I think I could take this, this team on. I can kill it in two hits. It can't kill me in two hits. Hopefully it goes first. Go for one attack. Go on. Yeah, awesome. Now, Nundagosaurus, I'm pretty sure I've seen it maxed before, because if I've faced it in a tournament, it's going to be level 40. Um, like I said, they're supposed to be maxed up higher than level 40, but they can't. Yeah, I didn't think he could kill me. I isn't Nundagosaurus a hybrid? Wait. No. It I was going to say... No, it can't be a hybrid. It just looks like it would be a hybrid. Yeah, it definitely isn't. So, do I go for two hits here? I'm gonna go for one block, one reserve. We could, actually, that was stupid. If he goes for three, we're dead. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Woo! Caught a break there. Oh, we can't be killed in one hit either. That's awesome. So one, two, three. I'll just go for all attack. Why not? Three, I think, kills him. It should do. Oh, it does 4,000. And leaves Poon and Gasaurus by itself. Who can kill me in two, though? So it'll probably go for two. And then Pachyceratops, another one! Level 30 would be so much better. And to be honest, it's not going to cost me too much DNA. I've got like almost 400,000. So I should do it. I should. Um, You know what? Let's just go for an attack. If he did have two block, which he did, we've still killed him. There you go. Easy. Ooh. Yeah, so like if you have a lot of dinosaurs, like you could just... I, I love it. For a whole week, I can just grind for resources. It's awesome. I mean, I don't know how many- Oh, it's just you! God damn it. Well, I'd rather have food. Come on, we gotta do one more. It's close. Twice, it's almost came up. The game wants me to keep going. How about Spinoraptor? There you go. Spinoraptor and some low-level dinosaurs as well. Nun oh, there's Nundagosaurus. That's the hybrid I'm thinking of. It so what was the other one? I thought the other one was Nundagosaurus. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm pretty sure that is a hybrid. Okay. Oh, no, a maxed one. Okay. Right, we need to take that out. Uh, it goes first. Don't go for one attack, please. Just go for a block. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't so hard. So, Ankyla saw you being fought off. Sorry. <laughs> and it did go for a block. That's good. He can kill us in two hits. Um, he might not go for it, though. Because we've got one block possibility. And he doesn't. That's great. Yeah, the arc mod. Like, we've covered this guy in an arc mod. And it looks exactly like it. It looks really good. There's like an Ankylosaur level 40 in there. It was so good. I actually thought they took the model from this game and put it in. But it's just like an edited Ankylosaur. It looks great. Anyway, back to the game in hand. Uh, I didn't have to go for 6. 5 would have done it. That was a bit stupid of me. Because... It has 400. It can kill me in two, I think. Or is it going to have to go for three? Please tell me three. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> okay, he's got one block. We can kill him in... Ah, damn it. We have to go for three. And then I'm going to go for reserve. Because even if Dilophosaur has five, I don't think he can kill me in five. Yeah, I don't think I could have. We can kill it in one, which means that one reserve, doesn't matter what he does, we've won. There you go. It's ti I can feel Titanoboa. I can, I can feel a big snake. <laughs> the biggest snake that's ever been. It makes men cower in fear. 
Inferiorness. <laughs> Inferiority complexes. Okay, well, we're, we're almost top, actually. So come on, Titanobo. Come on. Come on. It's bloody... It's rigged. My account's rigged. Just as not give me it. Well, you never know. We've still got a couple of days. We may get it early. Um... So that's another VIP point. And guys, we're almost on an hour. I've got to stop. Like, I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed playing this and uh, talking to you guys. So, um, yeah, this is your dose of, or my dose of psychiatric help by talking to a person who does, who just listens, which is you. <laughs> so, enjoy the video. Leave a like. Thank you again for all the support you've left on this series. Without you, I wouldn't be here and definitely wouldn't have made it to 321 episodes. So, if you have stayed to the end, thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.